so I just wanted to share some quick insight about something frequency wise now when we talk about the discomfort that can stem oftentimes from the realm of five right so let's say you have anxiety issues let's say you're stuck in your head these are all relative to the realm of five what's commonly taught clinically or in in the realm of 13 right uh, modalities is grounding which is great but here's the issue most people are already in 13 frequency which is the most grounded of them all so let's say you're a 13 frequency being in a 50 cycle okay you're grounded but you're also experiencing the discomfort of five the secret is not going to be just grounding yourself the secret is going to be gaining awareness of self and what you're feeling. Now, I am in no way saying this isn't an incredible quick fix, quick tip, grounding techniques, but it's not going to give you long-term results. Go exercise anytime any sort of ego issues or any sort of inner child wounds are coming to the surface or any sort of fear, that's not going to help you combat your fear. Okay, it's just not, okay? Um, you aren't going to overcome abandonment issues by exercising. You're just not. So when we talk about understanding the pathways of these frequencies, which I'm going to share once my book comes out, I don't want to share it yet. Um, it's gold, but it goes over this because if you don't do the proper work, if you don't do the proper ego work, if you don't properly understand what you're afraid of and what's sending you into your head and what's sending you into that space of discomfort and fear, you're not going to be able to combat it and master and hone the self. And this is why oftentimes people that are experiencing this discomfort will run to smoking, will run to drinking, will run to different substances, right? To try and alleviate the discomfort. But another thing that tends to happen is they can become mean, they can become short tempered, or they can become withdrawn. They can withdraw and um, uh, remove their energy from situations. None of these are beneficial, right? These are fear-based reactions. These are grasping at something to try and make yourself feel better when it needs to be done internally, right? This is why awareness is key. And I will argue that. And I will always argue that because you can talk to a metaphysician, right? You can have a metaphysician that says um, there are dark energies surrounding you and so on and so forth and, and things like that. There is a there is a hole in your energy field, right? That's allowing energies to come in. Now, why is awareness important when I bring up this kind of a concept, right? I don't necessarily teach in this way, okay? But I can entertain it and understand it. So I can understand it metaphysically, but I also try to teach it in a different way. I have a more union approach, right? Which ultimately teaches or expresses that it is not an external darkness it is a darkness that is an aspect of you right and this is why um, i promote the benefit of shadow work and whether you believe it metaphysically or in a union manner when you do this work you gain control of the self why because when you've honed your own darkness and have full awareness of darkness and how it channels through you and you learn to titrate it, whether it is external or internal, you're in control of it. Now, before I give away too much information, <laughs> I'm going to end the video here, but I just wanted to share this. When you understand the pathway of darkness, you will inevitably understand the pathway of healing and light. Okay. That's just how it works. And when you understand the pathway of darkness, whether you believe it is an internal circumstance or an external circumstance, right? You will learn to master it. Now, this is also what I love about understanding it more so as an internal concept, because here's the thing. This is why I resonate more with union approach and the shadow being an aspect of the self, an aspect of our own psyche. Here's why. There is nothing that an external energy or deity or frequency or being can cause you to do that you do not already have the full capacity to do yourself with the right trigger, 
the right pressure or under the right circumstance. You are capable of doing atrocious things without any external entity contributing to the action. That is what depth psychology is about. That is what shadow work is about. That is what honing one's own darkness and understanding it is about. Humans can do it on their own. So honing that and mastering that darkness is the goal.